Hey, what is up, everybody? It is Kellen here from Start Your Systems, and welcome back to MX vs. ATV All Out, where today we're going to be playing the third of the 12 tracks that will be released by the MX vs. ATV crew in the 2020 AMA Pro Motocross DLC package, the season pass that they are uh, coming out with this season. For all 2020 nationals, eventually Fox Racer will be in the schedule. Um, I talked about this at the very first video I did, but essentially you get all 12 or 11 rounds of Nationals minus Fox Raceway and Loretta Lynn's in this initial 1999 pack. And the tracks come out pretty much every week. There's gonna be like a, a lull, I think uh, in July, there's like one week where the track the tracks won't come out. Um, but this week High Point has been released to, as of today, this will be June 4th that this track is released. Uh, so, you know, Look for your consoles or your uh, Steam store to update and give you this track. It's a really, really fun track. Uh, I think a lot of people know High Point pretty well. The Coombs family, which are my bosses, own this uh, facility and have been hosting nationals here for years. They also um, hosted GNCC races for quite a while and will actually be hosting somewhat of a GNCC race this year at High Point for the first time in, in a little while because of Obviously everything uh, still kind of being a little bit in the weird zone with the COVID-19 situation. So they're trying to shuffle around some venues that they weren't expected to go to and redo some things. So High Point may be back on the GNC schedule, but it is definitely supposed to be on the national schedule this year. And uh, we're getting to play it here in MX versus ATV all out today. So very, very exciting stuff. Of course, this is pretty much based on the 2019 version of the track. These 2020 tracks are all essentially the 2019 tracks uh, updated and uh, because of that you know like there there is a possibility that some of these tracks when the actual national happens like f for example um, Pro Motocross this week said that they're planning on changing up a lot of things about the schedule and maybe even running uh, a national or they basically confirmed they're going to be running a national at Loretta Lynn's as well this year uh, just to, to be able to get multiple rounds completed and because of that, I'd have to imagine that they'll probably change up the track at least a little bit at Loretta Lynn's. Not a ton, maybe, but, um, you know, for national purposes, I think it'll be different than the amateur track just a little bit. So things like that, I think, are out of control, out of the control of Rainbow Studios and everybody over there at MX Race TV trying to put this together. So uh, you'll have to bear with them that it's probably not going to be all of the exact 2020 replica tracks, but it's basically as close as they're going to get with the replicas from the season before. And uh, yeah, high point today. Really, really, really good track here. I like all the work that went into this. Obviously, you can tell it's, it's not an easy track to replicate, I would say. There's a lot of elevation change, off cambers, ups and downs all over the place, big tables and stuff like that. So to get the elevation right, I think is probably like one of the, the biggest keys with a track like this. And again, it's another track I've never been to. I'm sure I'll probably be to it soon now that I work for uh, racetracks, but um, I'd imagine that this is, this seems pretty close from what I've seen, from pictures I've seen, from 3D renderings and other games that I've played this in and obviously watching it on TV and stuff like that. TV never does it justice, but this seems pretty spot on. So um, credit where credit's due there. I'm sure that somebody will chime in and say that there's a couple things wrong about this, which is, is still fine though. You know, it's not uh, always going to be exactly 100% accurate unless they 3D scan it, which they may even do partially. I'm not 100% sure about that either. Um, but this is, uh, this is one of the... I guess more famous national tracks on the schedule these days because everybody I feel like knows what High Point is. And, um, generally speaking, I enjoy the racetrack here. I am not a huge fan, the same thing as uh, Southwick last week, of the current iteration of the racetrack. I personally liked it when you used to come down um, these turning doubles and you basically went kind of like straight right here a little bit and then you turned down the hill this way and kind of came down all the way through here and then you did this turning double up this hill right here so then you went up into the the hill off to my right came back did this step up thing and then you came all the way down over this way you dropped into the valley i'm sorry no so this again <laughs> this is a, an older version of the track that i used to enjoy a little bit more you didn't drop across the valley right there you kind of came to a stop 
and you turned this way and kind of like carried a lot of speed through the valley. And you came up this other side and there was a, an uphill triple that you used to do. And I think you used to land, honestly, like right about in here somewhere, maybe even right right here where this, uh, this finish line jump is now. You used to land somewhere in here. You turn around and then you come back down this hill and do this off camber the other direction before continuing back up this hill so this off camera came down here and then you come up this hill right here and turn right up here then you would go in the back you kind of do the same thing back over there and I like that it goes back into the trees now because that's very old Bradshaw Boulevard ish so I'm really happy about this uh, extension of the track but they, they took out I think like the most famous feature at this track in my opinion at least Bradshaw Boulevard you used to come up this hill and he carried so much speed and there's a finish line jump Excuse me, gotta go through this fence because there's a fence right here, but there's a finish line jump right to my left here and then he carried a bunch of speed down this straightaway and pretty much where this high point thing is now, um, it would turn left and, and come down the hill and James Stewart had a gnarly crash coming down the hill uh, right in here one year and then he used to turn up this hill and there'd be an uphill triple. He'd turn back across the start line, come over this way and swing back and do all this so just kind of like talking th my way through the old track a little bit but i like that iteration better than the current iteration personally speaking i know a lot of people probably feel differently and that's totally fine i just uh, wanted to kind of speak my thoughts there but i've always been a fan of high point it's one of those tracks that kind of fits my bill of a good motocross track where it's it's got a lot of elevation and it uses it it's not just uh kind of you know going up and down and up and down it's like using off campers and going sideways across the hills and kind of trying to make a unique racetrack out of all the elevation changes that they have at this uh, facility so i really liked it that's what the uh, coombs family and and everybody there has really put into with this track over the years and like i said really really have enjoyed this track over the years and enjoy being able to play it in a video game in mxr state tv now it's super awesome that, that uh we got this pack and uh, let's take a look at some other things that are part of this facility so first of all let's just do an overhead map so you guys can see everything so this map this is obviously the track right here <clears throat> and this is more of the facility back over here which is where I'd imagine they'd use the GNCC or part of the GNCC course later this season to the right in the bottom right over here and further off to the right is actually Matthews farm where they do the Mason Dixon GNCC every year um, and I think that they are still going to use that area over there to do some of the GNCC. But like I said, they, they essentially will probably be using a lot of high point as well to get it done. But all this stuff is legit. Like if you look on Google Maps, which I think I've said about the other tracks, and look at some of the surrounding area, like this track over here, this little turn track, exists on Google Maps. Uh, it's a little bit more worn down than this. I think they kind of spruced it up so that it looks... Um, you know nice and you can kind of flow through it even though I just jumped off the track there um, so they spruced it up a little bit for the game but again just paying attention to details I really like that the Rainbow Studios team wasn't just like let's just build the national track and forget about everything around the surroundings because you know they they could and they could sell that as a package but they're they they thrive on creating these free ride maps um, which has always been kind of their forte in the first place, like even going back to the early MX Unleashed days or even to some of their original titles like Motocross Madness and ATV Offered Fury, they had ridiculously awesome uh, free ride maps that, that you could play. And they've kind of carried that tra tradition on here and included it in this DLC package. Like I said, they could have easily just been like, nope, we, uh, we're happy with just building the track and move on, but they included all this stuff, so... Again, I just like giving some credit there because that's really, really cool of them to not just kind of settle and actually go through the effort of, of adding all this over here. Th this, uh, this area, I'll be honest, is not as exciting as some of the other areas. Like Hangtown had a lot more kind of fun off-track jumps and stuff like that. But um, I think maybe for people who are interested in kind of woods riding or GNCC racing that are from the East Coast, you guys may actually kind of be interested in this because it it is you know as close to realistic to the local scenery as possible and um even has these trails that kind of go all over heck and back over here like there is so many different areas you can kind of explore and trails you can hit and stuff like that and i looked around for some like 
Easter egg type of things over on this side of the map. Was not able to find anything. Uh, there was one Easter egg that I'll try to get over there and show you, but I'm going to try to also kind of wind my way that way as well. But um, anyway, yeah, like I, I just keep expecting to see like how they, they, they're going to hide something in the trees on one of these maps they release. Like there's going to be some sort of funny clue or something like that. Um, not that, you know, they're required to or anything like that, but I always just, I always just kind of think that that's what video game developers like doing. Like they, they put a lot of effort into making this look really awesome, which it does. And then they're like, well, let's, let's add one more little cool nuanced piece to it. Um, but maybe I'm just thinking too, uh, deeply into this situation, but we'll ride through the, the forest here a little bit, work our way up this hill. And once I get to the top of the hill, off to my left will be essentially the mechanics area, which is always up on this plateau up here. Um, there's a long plateau of different trucks and things like that that are always in this area, vendor row, uh, team trucks, stuff like that. So they kind of put this all together over here with some ramps and some trucks and other things like that. Uh, just to kind of fit the scenery, they got the big American flag up there. Obviously, they have the uh, ride-in tunnel. They have this sign right here, which says, um, welcome to the World Center of Motocross, which is really, really cool right there. And you can even ride over this bridge. I can kind of sneak my way onto it. Voila. Nice touch there. And then, yeah, a bunch of trucks. There's a uh, shed right here with a quad in front of it. Number 21. And actually, now that I think about it, that looks a lot like a quad from ATV Offroad Fury. Like, not, not the quads that are included in this game. It looks like an older quad to me, but maybe I'm wrong. I want to try to jump up on top of the shed real quick, so let me see if I can get a drive. Up. It seems like you, you get the speed to jump up there, and then um, it, like, tries to kick you back off, I guess. Ooh, another crash. Maybe if I come from this angle, this one looks like it has a little bit more of a peak. Nope, that didn't work. There we go. Ah, made it up on top of the shed. Nicely done. High point raceway. Cool stuff. Let me go find that quick Easter egg that I was telling you about. Again, I don't know if it is an Easter egg. Maybe they just have it in here for no real apparent reason, but you can see all these trucks over here. And when you actually play the national version of the track, um, like in Time Trial or the race, there's a bunch of Lucas Oil Pro Motocross tents and stuff over here. Anyway, there's this building right here, which I believe is actually there in real life. And uh, I was trying to figure out what it says on this box right here. So there's a electrical box right here. And uh, I just couldn't get close enough to read like the label on this box. So it just kind of disappears. But I just thought like, they must have left this box in here for some reason. It says Taraco on the top. And I just, I can't read that label. But then this uh, electric box is open. What does it say on the warning label here? Arc flash and shock hazard. Again, maybe I'm just reading into stuff too much, but there's a a uh, big X box right there. Not a uh, <laughs> an X box that you play games on, but a box with an X on it. Um, so yeah, I just figured I found that and I just thought that that was kind of cool. You can ride under this tunnel here. I think this is called the Carmichael double, right? Cause he used to uh, send it off the top of it and land in the rollers, the turning rollers down the hill. So maybe a high point local could explain that, uh, whether that is a correct assumption on my part, that that's called the Carmichael double or not. Over here is a little water truck station. So the water truck can uh, run under there. I'm going to try to do a hydroplane real quick. Let me see if it lets me right along the edge of the track here enough to do it. Get enough speed up. It's all right, set myself where I was. Try to hydroplane across this uh, this here lake thing. Oh, all the way. Oh, I had enough speed. Oh baby, I made it, that was sweet. Um, let me think, can I think of any other things that I could show you guys on this map? I think I got most of it. You can't go to this barn back here. I already tried, but it just boots you back onto the map. It's kind of a bummer. I wanted to explore that barn over there. Um, yeah, nothing really in the trees. I could ride through the trees so you can see how picturesque it looks, and I can also slam into that tree. Maybe do a little bit of first-person action here while I ride through the trees. But yeah, the uh, High Point 2020 map here in MX versus ATV All Out. Again, this is part of the uh, 2020 AMA Pro Motocross Season Pass DLC that they have. So 
Uh, every single week, a new track will be dropping. Um, like I said, the pack includes 11 national tracks plus Loretta Lynn's Fox Raceway will be coming at a later date, as they said. So all the national tracks except Fox, uh, but the tracks will be released weekly. So we had uh, Hangtown released two weeks ago. We had Southwick released last week and now High Point released this week. And uh, yeah, High Point, baby. I'm sure people are excited to see this one. Um, I definitely was, like I said, a fan of High Point myself. And uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed checking this video out and definitely go play it yourself. Um, should be loading up on your consoles today or on the Steam store, like I was saying. Um, and, uh, you know, get online with your buddies and try it out. Oh, I just got stuck on top of this thing. Look at, I can't, I can just lay here when I land on top of these things. This is like the weirdest thing ever. I can turn my head, I can roll all the way back over and lay on the right side, but I can't go anywhere. Like, I just am wide open. It's really weird how they put these shape files on top of this truck. Kind of funny, just a little weird end to the video there, I guess. Uh, but yeah. Check this track out now. Like I said, it should be updated on your consoles. And um, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy playing High Point this week. New addition to the 2020 AMA Pro Motocross DLC on MX vs. ATV All Out. Um, appreciate you guys stopping by, checking out this video here on Start Your Systems. As always, my name is Kellen, and I will see you guys in the next one. So long for now.